Hello and welcome to our channel, where we explore the world and its many wonders. In today's video, we will be discussing one of the most powerful and destructive natural phenomena on Earth tsunamis. We will be looking at the anatomy of a tsunami, how they form, and what makes them so devastating. So, let's get started. What is a tsunami? A tsunami is a series of ocean waves with very long wavelengths caused by large scale disturbances of the ocean such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and landslides. Unlike normal ocean waves that are caused by wind, tsunamis are generated by a displacement of the seafloor. The word tsunami comes from the Japanese language, which translates to harbor wave. How do tsunamis form? Tsunamis are often triggered by earthquakes that occur on the ocean floor. When the Earth's tectonic plates move and shift, they can create an enormous amount of energy which is then transferred to the water above. This energy causes the water to move in a circular motion, forming waves that travel outward from the epicenter of the earthquake. As these waves travel through the ocean, they can increase in height and intensity. This is because the ocean floor is not completely flat, and as the waves encounter underwater mountains and ridges, they can be slowed down and their amplitude can increase. This is known as wave shoaling and is what causes tsunamis to become so powerful and destructive. The anatomy of a tsunami. Tsunamis are made up of three parts the initial wave, the crest, and the trough. The initial wave is the first wave to hit the shore and is often the smallest in size. However, it can still cause significant damage, especially if it is followed by larger waves. The crest of a tsunami is the highest point of the wave while the trough is the lowest point. The distance between the crest and the trough is called the wave height, and it can vary greatly depending on the strength of the tsunami. Why are tsunamis so destructive? Tsunamis are one of the most destructive natural disasters on Earth, and this is largely due to their immense power and size. Because tsunamis are made up of such long wavelengths, they can travel across entire ocean basins with very little loss of energy. This means that by the time a tsunami reaches the shore, it can still be extremely powerful and destructive. Tsunamis can cause massive flooding, damage to infrastructure, and loss of life. They can also trigger landslides, which can exacerbate the destruction caused by the initial wave. In conclusion, tsunamis are an awe-inspiring but terrifying natural phenomenon. They are caused by large-scale disturbances of the ocean floor and their immense power and size make them one of the most destructive forces on Earth. By understanding the anatomy of a tsunami, we can better prepare ourselves for the potential devastation they can cause. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.